Hello Leo, welcome to my channel. This is going to be your February 2023 reading for Sun, Moon and Rising. We'll start off with the soundboard just to cleanse the energy and to uh, tune in. And yes, you'll see I'm in a different background at the moment. I'm visiting my sister in South Africa. So if you'd like to take a nice breath in and exhale. Okay, Leo, let us see what February has in store for you. We're going to be doing three piles, okay? Uh, current energy starting the month. The middle pile will be anything that's unseen, any surprises, challenges. And then the final pile will be the outcome for the month. But we'll first get a general energy for the month of February for you, for your highest good. And please be mindful that energy is non-gender specific. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And I would be very grateful if you could uh, subscribe. Uh, it is free or comment, share, maybe give me a thumbs up uh, if this does resonate with me, with you, of course. Okay, so, Leo. Hmm, you're gonna like this. Enlightenment. Okay, something is coming to light for you in February. Okay, but this could also talk about deep spiritual enlightenment, uh, raising your vibrations, uh, moving up the scales, uh, spiritual ascension, or it could literally just mean the enlightenment of some situation that you are struggling with in the month of uh, February. Right, let's see what's going on for you. Let's see how this is playing out. Okay, you're definitely gaining enlightenment because you've got the hangman, the hermit card here, which talk about soul searching, introspection, seeing things from a different angle. So that's definitely coming up for you. But ultimately you start the month in a very positive frame of mind. You've got the ace of wands, which is a brand new beginning, new passion and new excitement. But then you slow down a little bit to make sure that you can see things from all angles. And then once you do, you're driving forward with great triumph and victory. Okay, so things are on the kind of go for you, but I really like the fact that you're not kind of jumping the gun. You're sort of looking at that ace of wands and thinking this is a spark. This is this has this has a, the ability to go the distance. But instead of kind of jumping too forward, I feel like you've been bitten so much in the past that you kind of it's not like you're hesitant to take it and make it happen i feel like you really are being very wise from previous situations to kind of go hmm let me see this from more angles and then once you do once you gain the enlightenment on that then you're charging forward then you kind of go okay i can see the flaws i can see i, see, I can see the pros and the cons and i'm going to go for it okay we'll find out for you whether that's some sort of new project happening whether it's new love whatever that is for you we will clarify okay the thing that's unseen for you in the month of february is this thing of um this offering that's coming on in okay you're now looking at at it from a much deeper perspective okay we've got the four of cups the hermit and the knight of cups so you're really doing the soul searching with regards to uh can i is this going to benefit my life is this going to be emotionally fulfilling because you've got it quite good you've got it quite stable at the moment the emotional body 
but it's like because King um, the Knight of Cups is there, I feel like you are going to be getting an offer of love to some degree. Now, even if you are already in a relationship, this could just be someone else coming towards you, giving you a lovely gesture. But you're kind of like, um, it feels like it's different to the first. So I feel like two things are happening. You start the month knowing that there's a inspired action, passion action, but then the thing that you don't see is that when you vibrate on that high, high level, other things start flooding in because when you're beaming your light so bright, everyone wants a piece of it, okay? And so then someone else is coming towards you and now you're kind of going, oh, well, I've already had to sort of suss out the situation of this new project, this new idea, this new inspired action. Um, and I, and I was wise enough and responsible enough to kind of really look at it from more angles and see whether it can go the distance, right? And deciding that it, it can. And then as soon as that happens, something else happens. You're like, oh God, can I take that on? Hmm, how is this really going to benefit me? Okay, is this going to improve um, both my situation with this new project that or this new inspired action that I have, perhaps even new travel? Um, or is this going to step in my way? So for some of you, it could be the situation of you deciding to kind of go traveling somewhere, but then just as you're kind of really kind of looking at all the ums and ahs about it, so for example, if it's something on the, the spiritual path, um, where you perhaps want to go and visit some sacred sites, just an example, so this is not compliant to everyone, but if it was on the spiritual path, wanting to go travel to visit some sacred sites, or just sort of go with them to do all of that sort of work, it's almost like someone then offers you something, um, a cup of love, that in a way maybe stops you in your tracks and then you have to kind of suss that one out, okay? But by the end of the month, I do see movement forward fast. We've got the Emperor, which is very empowered. It's, very, it's knowing where exactly you're going and having kind of like a backup plan as well, having kind of a long-term plan connected to it. I see celebration coming together with family and friends, um, people perhaps even from the past that you haven't seen in a while. And we've got the eight of wands, victory, triumph, fast motion forward, things are going. And it can also be air travel. So we've got kind of two major arcanas that can also talk about travel. One being the chariot and one being the uh, oh, not major, um, Eight of Wands is also a travel card, but the Chariot is a major arcana, and that's like a vehicle travel. Eight of Wands can be aviation, air travel. So it feels like there is some sort of movement happening, but you're in the vibration of moving, movement, fast, and victorious movement, either physically or metaphorically, but I really love the fact that you are um, not kind of being hasty with it. You're being very careful, very wise about it. So this is very nice. So let us clarify. <clears throat> so that's why the theme is enlightenment, because you really are taking the time to kind of, how is this going to benefit me? It's like, um, it's like you're treating the whole month of posing the question, how is this going to benefit me more than now? And what am I learning if I go down this route? How is it gonna, how am I gonna gain enlightenment? How am I gonna gain understanding, lessons learned in a way that I, where I am kind of in, um, in the driving seat of uh, teaching. So it's almost like you're teaching yourself, right? Okay, Ace of Wands, please. This will be that inspired action. <clears throat> that little kind of fire in your belly, getting all excited. Ace of Wands, Temperance, Seven of Swords, and Nine of Swords. Ah, so we've got the Temperance, Seven of Swords, and Nine of Swords, okay? Clarifying this Ace of Wands. This inspired action, this kind of new beginning, it's like, um, they're basically saying it's something where it may have the ability to make you feel like you're sort of avoiding something. It feels to me like you're a bit worried that from the outside looking in, other people may think that you are avoiding some sort of duty, some sort of responsibility by taking this inspired action, by cutting one thing to take on something new. But what Spirit here is trying to say is that it's all about um, 
your temperament. It's all about how you temper your words, temper your um, your uh, balance, your your thoughts with regards to this new beginning, because the the Temperance card overrides the two um, the two Sword cards. All right, and Temperance also talks about divine timing. So divine timing is a play, but they, ha they may have to kind of, this may be what you're gaining enlightenment of with regards to this inspired action. <clears throat> that could be why you're taking the time to really kind of slow down and see it from all aspects. But what temperance is saying is that it is actually divine timing, okay? But where you have been burnt in the past, you kind of, you, you, it's not like you're afraid to get burnt again, although we all don't want that, but I don't feel like it's hugely fear-based. It's just you are, you are recognizing in this moment that if you take that inspired action, um, you want to ensure that it doesn't kind of uh, shoot you. Uh, you we want to make sure you're not shooting yourself in the foot long term, okay? And you also may be a little bit con too concerned about what the people around you may think of you, okay? <coughs> hangman. Can you clarify the hangman, please? So now you're thinking about it. Wheel of Fortune, the Devil, and King of Pentacles. So it could be that, um, so the Wheel of Fortune is, is now moving in your favor, but it's um, really highlighting this thing of like, okay, but where did I feel trapped in the past? Where was there toxic energy? Uh, particularly if it's someone you've been dealing with, who might, maybe an Earth sign as well, because we've got the Devil card and the King of Pentacles. Um, so we've got something that is definitely turning in your favor, which is really, really, really nice. Because um, it is a positive omen, but you are now really spending the time. Hmm, the tables have turned now. How, how do I work towards a sense of long-term security and stability within my sense of self in the practical things that I do for my long-term? How do I use this opportunity to my benefit? And rather than let it kind of own me, how do I own this rather than it own me? That's the kind of energy I'm feeling. That's the thing that you're trying to work out in your head, okay? So if there's been a turnaround of events whereby you've been dealing with a particular person and um, they were away from your life and now they come back in, it's really kind of sussing that out. How can I take that inspired action, that passion, um, move forward with it, even if it caused me a bit of anxiety. How, how, what would I be able to do to be able to make it work for me and not make me feel kind of trapped or in some sort of kind of toxic energy or relationship, okay? So um, these are the things you really are looking at from all angles. And then you've got the chariot, this fast movement forward, this driving forward with, with pace, with haste, with speed, and with kind of spirituality as well, because it's the number seven, which in numerology talks about that sort of spiritual lessons that you have. So let's go to the chariot, please. Oh, no, I'm not taking jumpers out the back, although that was a star. Mm. Chariot, we have Four of Cups, Ace of Swords, and Knight of Swords. Okay, so I see that you are taking uh, this inspired action, moving forward, because you're wanting to gain more emotional fulfillment in your world at the moment, okay? However that resonates with you. This, it could be a passion project, it could be a new person. But I feel like where you are... Um, it, it feels like you've just been a little bit kind of, um, things have not been moving so far, so that's why you want to create a bit more excitement into your life, okay? And then you're kind of taking the good, the bad, the ugly. You're seeing the clarity in it. You're seeing the clarity of, for example, for some of you, you're like, you're asking yourself that question of, this inspired action that I want to participate in. Um, even though it might be causing a bit of grief, I'm, I'm doing the time, taking the time to really suss it out. But why is it that I want to do this? Okay. And then I feel like you recognize this because you're wanting to kind of add more um, emotional, I don't want to say baggage, 
it was it's this, I'm trying to figure out how to word how to uh, vocalize this energy it's like you wanted to have more experience so on the emotional level you, you you're ready at this time to take on more experiences that have the potential to really kind of make you feel more emotionally kind of connected okay and this is the ace of swords this is the understanding that you're coming into terms with and then when that happens we've got a nice kind of um lots of communication backwards and forwards lots of communication okay so it, it feels like particularly if you're traveling somewhere i feel like you're going to feel it's, it's almost a case of like if you were going away um, either for some traveling or on a work situation it feels to me that you are in the, you're going to end up feeling actually more connected to people in doing that more so than you have now because it's it it feels like that drive that you have is going to be the tool to um, express yourself it's like that gives you the permission slip to be more in connection with others um, even on your travels but also kind of back at home that's the energy I'm getting which is quite bizarre but um, if that's what it takes then that's what it takes right to feel more connected right so let's look at the four of cups this is what you don't see coming but the four of cups of the hermit and that knight of cups so we've got a situation here where um, there is emotional well-being being offered to you when things have felt a little bit stale there is that open up to you it also talks about like no man's an island and he's quite okay at home uh, he's got everything he needs but is it really the be all or an end all no there's another fourth cup which represents it as a ship sorry other side as a ship um, that uh, can enable this person to see the world to move forward to make deeper stronger connections with other people and that's what you're doing your soul searching about and also the knight of cups not only could be someone offering the cup of love to you but i feel like you're moving with joy now you're moving with with your heart space because you're recognizing you're doing the soul searching you're recognizing in a way that that's the only way to live okay follow the heart follow the emotional body Nine of Cups wanted to jump out there, which is wish fulfillment, which is nice. Okay. Let's clarify. Four of Cups. Four of Swords. Six of Cups. And King of Swords. Okay. So there's something that, um, in a, this situation of having a new beginning, not a necessarily massively new beginning, although we do have the Ace of Wands there, but there does seem to be that something is um, being offered towards you that will enable you to heal from the past and gain clarity in a very logical mindset, looking at the logical details of it, okay, with that King of Swords. You could also be dealing with the King of Swords as well. So um, it is something that has the ability to heal the past, which is really, really nice. Let's look at the Hermit. What soul searching, what wisdom are you coming into? That's the Empress, but I'm not taking about this. You are sussing things out this month on such a deep level. Hermit. Three of, uh, three of swords, nine of pentacles, and five of swords. So I feel like the thing that you're trying to suss out in your head is... Um, what are the things in my life, who are the people in my life that actually just cause grief? Okay, I want to heal my heart. So you've healed something for, for the past, but now moving forward, you're trying to decide what it is that you can, um, how you can navigate your sense of independence and freedom within yourself uh, in a way that is um, kind of, serving your highest good with without it kind of really impacting the heart space too much so it's really about kind of like looking at the that hermit phase is looking at the past and areas of your life where you were uh felt where you have suffered where you felt pain betrayal um sadness hurt where things uh were, were became too much and you're thinking about what is it that i want how do i how do I feel emotionally balanced um, with my own set of kind of sense of security, 
my own internal independent wealth. And even though it's pentacles, which can talk about money, so it can talk about kind of going solo and having sort of um, being self-sufficient in, in finance, I do feel like it's more talking about how can I be um, strong within myself um, and take on new opportunities, take on new love, take on new relationships, new ideas, um, in a way that is where I can then see more clearly the outcome. So I'm not kind of shooting myself in the foot. I'm not kind of having a short term win, but like winning the battle, but losing the war. These are the areas you, you're trying to do some soul searching on. How do I become independent? How do I be strong within myself? Okay. Despite the challenges of sadness from the past and without it just being a short term win. These are the things you're really kind of figuring out and you won't you don't see it now because it's almost as if that offering that comes on towards you, uh, with, which allows you to heal from the past, um, hasn't, hasn't arrived yet. So when it arrives, it opens a gateway to that enlightenment. Okay, Knight of Cups, please. Moving with the heart space. Joyful. Maybe he's swimming with dolphins. <laughs> Because that's what he's doing. <laughs> that would be lovely. That's on my bucket list. Anyway. Right. We have Six of Swords, Queen of Swords, the Moon. Yes. Okay. So even if something's coming towards you, even if it's someone from the past, which you're now allowing yourself to heal from, I feel like you're moving on to calmer waters. You're speaking your truth with the, with the Queen of Swords. You're standing in that energy of even plain bluntness. Despite any kind of despite knowing what the outcome will be, okay? And also, equally, so that will be for some of you and for others of you, if you are moving from the space of the heart and kind of going, okay, well, I learned those lessons, that's fine, but that doesn't mean I can't continue to live and move out in the world, connect with other people and have more experiences. And as you do so and follow your heart in doing so, you're more becoming at peace within your mind, okay? And you are, it's, it's what all of this hermit energy and this enlightenment is doing is knowing yourself at a much deeper level, speaking your truth and um, not kind of beating around the bush about it to anyone. As uncertain as things may unfold, you are standing in your power in your truth, okay? And that standing in your truth is a thing that gives you peace of mind because then you know, okay, if things don't work out according to plan, I can't really blame myself because I was honoring my truth okay so um, and it's not like you want to blame somebody else but it's a case of if you stay almost like transparent in your uh, objectives in your endeavors in your approach then there could be no room for miscommunication or misunderstanding and if that happens even if it's uncertain um, because you don't know what, what, what the outcome is going to be it doesn't matter because that gives you peace of mind, okay? And then you'll have to deal with it that way, all right? So it's kind of like that situation of um, if there is a misinterpretation later down the line, uh, at least you were you were honoring your truth, okay? And with that comes self-respect. And with the self-respect comes peace of mind. So it's not so jarring in the mind anymore. Okay, by the end of the month, I see you are taking forward action planning for the future, connecting with others, which is really, really nice, and things are now on the go. So let's clarify the Emperor, please. That was a page of ones, by the way. Knight of Cups again, Nine of Wands. And the Queen of Wands. <laughs> so even if someone's coming towards you, who is kind of a powerful figure, you're like, no, nope. I'm done. I'm dusted with that energy. I'm onto the new with the Queen of Wands. And I see now what's happening is, despite the experiences that you've had that made you feel almost broken, you are still you. You're saying, I don't care. My heart has been break, broken a few times. I've been disappointed a few times. I've worked my bum off. Uh, a few times and may not have received the, 
the goals I wanted to achieve or the things that I was uh, intending to happen doesn't matter. I'm still looking to the future and I'm going to be bold and ball ballsy with it. I mean, the Queen of Wands is your energy. You know, it is a fire. It is um, standing in your truth, but uh, in like nothing can stop me now kind of energy. And this is, this is my truth. This is where I'm going. This is what I'm doing. Unapologetically, I really like it. Three of Cups, please. Ha, huh, we've got the star. The Emperor again, and Justice. So, I do feel, I mean, not only is a lot of healing coming forward for you, a lot of uh, reason to be hopeful for the future and trust in the future, but I feel now you're taking this energy of the emperor, planning for the future, but you bring it into balance. And for some of you, I mean, it could be a celebration over a, um, a legal win to some degree, something where you are waiting on um, an answer, some sort of approval from some sort of state um, or organization. It is a, a very, um, it is reason to celebrate, absolutely. So you get the approval, you get the go ahead, it's, it's happening for you because now you like you're in the energy of like I'm making it happen if it doesn't happen this way it's happening this way I don't care I'm gonna stand in my truth this is what I want this is this is where I'm going towards and I'm quite happy to kind of move around and um, try it in different ways and I'm not so stagnant in my approach to this but as you do so that energy opens up and kind of goes okay yes you are now finding your vibe <laughs> your passion but in a really, not only like a nurturing way with a star, but in an emperor way. And when we have those two energies, almost like the feminine and the masculine energies, then we create balance and justice within ourselves. So I do feel like that it also feels to me like um, some oh, dancing. <laughs> if you can go out dancing for any reason, I think that's also going to help your, um, your vibrations kind of find... Uh, regain some balance and alignment within your higher self so that would be a good thing to do as well but I do feel like coming together with others people who are on your soul tribe people who celebrate you as you um, is going to be very very prosperous for you okay eight of wands so now we're like going ahead this is the outcome obviously of the month now it's all all guns blazing We have Ace of Cups, High Priestess, Knight of Wands. I love it. Okay, all guns blazing. So if this was an inspired project that you want to take, if this was some travel that you wanted to take, if it was new love that you wanted to take, I do feel like it's new rather than old because I feel like you're healing from the old. Um, it is now go, go, go. Not only do you feel like over your but that your cup of emotions is overflowing with love but you know that you are on the right track intuitively but you're not sort of um, but you are being very like careful in the sense of you want to take that cup and you want to, you want to embed it for the long term you're not interested in like a fly-by-night kind of vibe you're not interested in a, a short win a short happiness you you want the long term because the knight of pentacles so intuitively, you're like, everything's kind of starts to fall in your lap. You get the approval, you get the okay, you get the inspired action, all of that stuff. You've spent the time to do the enlightenment. And then by the end of the month, when things start falling in your lap, you're like, oh, I feel rejoiced, um, renewed, um, joyful. I feel uh, rejuvenated. And because everything's coming in, I intuitively know that this is all in your, in your power. Okay? And as it's happening, you recognize as well that even though things are happening fast around you, doesn't mean you have to sort of, you want to enjoy the experience. So with the Knight of Pentacles, you're like, okay, well, I'm going to enjoy this day. I'm going to enjoy the process it takes me to get there. Because I don't need, I don't need to rush because everything's divine timing. Is that this is the higher enlightenment you're gaining over February. You're like, when I work with the universe, the universe works with me. When I work with the more, the sense of more, with loving it or more, even the lessons that have been quite hard in my life, I'm just going to move with that. It's really nice. Okay, so we're going to get a message from Spirit before we move on to the extended. What does Leo need to know for the month of February for the highest good?
Don't dim to fit in. How you dim your light in order to fit in. So this is definitely, you can use it as a permission slip if you so desire, but this is spirit saying 100%, now's your time. You're shining anyway. So uh, now's the time to sort of go against the grain, to follow your heart, to, um, because you gain the, you've done all the work anyway, and to kind of be your ultimate you, the core you, the most authentic you as you possibly can be. So don't try and people please, don't try and kind of, and you don't have to do it in a harsh way, you know, but it's, it's like, don't, um, don't try and be the gray area. Don't be the sheep. Don't, you've got so much power, so much drive, so much kind of, so much to share with the world that you can't do it if you just blend in with everybody else. So now's the time particularly to shine your light because all the energies are supporting you. You've got a lot of major arcanas over here, okay? So that's all I have for you, Leo. For those of you who are interested in the extended reading, I'm gonna be looking at um, this, uh, I'm gonna take this Ace of Wands, this new passion forward. I'm gonna investigate a bit further, find out what all that's about and how that's gonna unravel for you and also get a message from Spirit for your highest good that what you need to know right now. So if you're interested in that, you can go to the, the description box below, click on the link, and then the purchase link, uh, PayPal link is below that one. It's four pounds or five US dollars uh, to watch out reading. Uh, for the rest of you, have a wonderful February. Uh, you've got this, you are working it and you're doing the work. So um, it's, it's nice, it's really nice. Take care and I'll see you next time, bye.